to get him high. He's got his honey and he's got his work. If you do drugs at work, you're just a jerk. Jerky, jerky, I like jerky. Look at the hunter cutting the deer. You can't do that when you're drunk on beer. Go see a crane, high on cocaine. When he's looking for the fish swimming in the river. standing here at the base of the Eiffel Tower. Billions of years ago, an ancient race of people known as the French constructed this model for all of humanity to gaze upon and to spit off the top of. Historians believe that they use a complex system of pulleys and dinosaurs to construct it. Now they don't know exactly how they went about doing that. The one thing that all scientists believe. They did it completely sober. Awesome. Do you, Do you think that this beautiful tree does drugs at work? I don't. Good idea, bad idea. Good idea. It's always a good idea to correctly portion your ice cream servings before giving them to the customer. Good job. Bad idea. It's a bad idea to correctly portion drugs for your customers. I bet they wouldn't appreciate that. <laughs> You know, I'd like to tell you a little bit of my own personal story right now. You see, I used to be a world-class surgeon, plastic surgeon. I had it all. Fancy dog, loving car, cool fancy pens, but I also had something else. I was wicked huge addicted to TNT. That's right. I was snorting up to three sticks of dynamite a day. Why not? I was Mr. Big Shot, but one day I went into an operation and I was a little too messed up. This is a photograph of the last known photo of the last known patient that I had. Looks pretty bad, right? Well, this is what he looked like before he came. All I was supposed to do is fix the stupid lazy eye. Since I've gotten off TNT, I've found some other pastimes that have helped me stay sober. For instance, collecting stamp collectors. Architecture. <laughs> Overeating. And sports.
your own way back to the nursing home. <laughs> we'll find someone else to push you. You know, working at Amy's is one of the coolest jobs in the world. Maybe even the universe. If you come to work on drugs, you're not only running the risk of injuring yourself, but you could injure somebody else. And that's no good. No! Amy's has worked really hard to establish a certain type of community. And if you come to work on drugs, you're just taking that community and you're shoving it down the toilet. <laughs> so I don't want to see you doing that. What you do on your own time is your business. But what you do... Ah! <laughs> oh. All right, you baby birds, get out of here. Seriously, Joe, go. Well, we sure did have a lot of fun today, didn't we? And I hope we learned a couple of things, like don't do drugs at work, you can get injured. That goes for cold medicine, too. All right, well, I'm tired, so better hit the sack, show you out the door. But feel free to stop by anytime you want, seriously. It was really, it was really fun. Where's, where's the thing? Oh! Hey, Kyle. Uh, this is my friend Kyle. You got what? What do you... You just got right off the stuff, man. This is the like good African yes, stuff, no, man. This yes, those... The tennis rackets? The tennis rackets from Africa. Those are great. Kyle, thank you for the tennis rackets. What are you talking about tennis rackets? Maybe you just call me 20 minutes out. I don't know what I went through. Get this stuff, man. It's like the good African stuff. The good African tennis rackets. TNT, man. TNT. Alright, alright. Get in here. Get in here. Yeah. Bye. Woo! Dynamite!